Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending September 7th. This will be a little bit late and only one subject because I just got into Fort Wayne, Indiana and it's running a little bit late but I am going to put the report up. This was sent in by Bob, 1954 Shadow, and this is from MyJewelryBox.com and it's all about the different uses of diamonds. Since about 2005 they've made a new technique to where they can actually layer some kind of carbon diamond dust and layer it up and make perfect diamonds and they're going to use these for all kinds of different uses. This describes multiple uses such as quantum cryptography. For some reason diamonds can detect and change one single photon at a time and they can be used for quantum cryptography and uh, to encode messages. Chemotherapy because of the fact that diamonds are a very structure, a very um, type of uh, Oh, how would you describe it? Let me let me put it in their words and everything like that. Um, diamonds have proven to be particularly useful for helping cancer patients on the road to recovery. Chemotherapy and radiation patients have been very success uh, treatments have been very successful at destroying the quick to multiply cancer cells. But the drugs and radiation's broad range of effectiveness, along with their inability to distinguish good cells from bad cells, often leave patients crippled with painful after effects. Well. Um, the microfilm that's layered with diamond, your body looks at it as a very complex structure, so it looks at it as something that it can leave alone and not have to attack. It's a very, or I should say, a very ordered structure is the best way to put it. So by lacing chemotherapy with nano diamonds and with the new procedure of making these uh, thin layer diamonds, they're very inexpensive, they can actually use it in chemotherapy to help. Also lasers, diamonds, uh, with, uh, diamonds can be used to make lasers. They can also be used because they diffract light in the blue and ultraviolet ranges very effectively. They can be used as lenses and some diamonds are actually used now in lenses for a uh, different type of medical equipment. And uh, so by making them cheaper, there's more and more things that diamonds can be used for that. For data storage, they're talking about using microspheres of diamonds to be able to take uh, and have huge amounts of uh, terabytes of storage. So if in communication, also diamonds can be used in communication. It says, before our ability to mass produce diamonds existed, harnessing their properties to improve sophisticated and electronic devices was far too expensive and impractical to endeavor. But now, armed with the ability to produce diamond films in a matter of hours, companies are being used to experiments with diamond-coated cell phone components. So you could actually have diamond protection on circuit boards themselves because of the cost. And then obviously the last paragraph talks about tools and if you've ever used, the, knowing the difference between just standard tools and diamond film tools or diamond coated, coated tools, it's pretty fantastic. So if you get a chance, check this out and uh, next week depending on my timing and where I happen to be, the TDD report may be a little bit longer, but if you get a chance to check, uh, check this, this is uh, just some highlights of it. There's a lot more to this article than even what I talked about and uh, with diamonds being man-made and being able to make perfect man-made diamonds, who knows where we'll go from here. So that's it for this week. Take care, everybody. I will catch you next week.